So you have to say, when it comes to the holidays, mashed potatoes are the most popular potato side dish and with good reason why, as they pair perfectly with any protein and vegetable, but most importantly, because they're absolutely delicious. Anyways, with that being said today, I'm gonna show you how to make the most amazing creamy garlic mashed potatoes. This recipe is so easy to make. The mashed potatoes have the most incredible textures and flavors, and it's all done in about 30 minutes, folks. You can serve these mashed potatoes right away or make them ahead of time, add them into the fridge, and then just reheat them for a couple minutes. Either way, these mashed potatoes promise to be the most flavorsome mashed potatoes you will ever taste. Let's begin by getting our potatoes ready. I'm gonna peel one kilo of potatoes, which is about two pounds, or four medium-sized potatoes. Now, to make this recipe, I am using new potatoes. These are basically all-purpose potatoes in between waxy and starchy. You can use whatever Ever potatoes you like, though I don't recommend using potatoes that are too waxy, such as red potatoes or fingerling potatoes, as they have a higher water content, making it so much more difficult to get that beautiful and classic mashed potato texture. Then I'm gonna cut each potato into eight evenly sized pieces. I like to cut the potatoes in half, then cut each half in half to end up with four evenly sized quarters, and then cut each quarter right down the middle. Then we'll add in the cut potatoes into a colander and give them a quick rinse under some cold running water. Then we'll add in the potatoes into a stock pot, making sure they're in a flat layer and fill it with some cold water. You wanna to go to about half an inch above the potatoes, which is one and a quarter centimeters. We'll add in a pinch of sea salt and heat it with a high heat. While the potatoes are cooking, let's get the garlic mixture ready. I'm gonna grab a small fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. To make this recipe, I'm using an olive oil from Apollo. This is their Miller's favorite organic extra virgin olive oil. It has such an incredible depth of flavors and it works perfect with these mashed potatoes. Link where you can get some in the description box below. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna grab a head of garlic, separate the cloves from the head, and remove the skins from each clove of garlic. Once all the cloves have been peeled, I'm gonna add them into the pan with the hot olive oil. And start mixing the cloves of garlic around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil, and you wanna make sure to mix this continuously, that way the cloves of garlic don't brown too quickly, and they all evenly saute. After about three minutes, and all the cloves of garlic have a light golden brown color to them, you don't wanna brown them too much, otherwise they get a bitter flavor to them. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat, and transfer the cloves of garlic into a mortar. And make sure to reserve the olive oil in the pan as we're gonna be using it later on in the recipe. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a generous handful of fresh chives, finely chop them, and add in about two tablespoons into the mortar, which is six grams. We'll lightly season with a little sea salt, and pound down on the mixture until you form a paste. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can also use a food processor or even a handheld mixer. All right, let's move back to the potatoes. It's been about 24 to 25 minutes since I turned on the heat and those potatoes should be perfectly cooked. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, they are ready to go. However, you don't wanna overboil your potatoes, otherwise you're gonna end up with mushy mashed potatoes. And if you're making this dish ahead of time, make sure to reserve a little bit of that hot water. That way when you reheat the potatoes, you add a little bit of that water in there and it's gonna help achieve that creamy texture. I'm gonna remove the stock pot from the heat and drain the potatoes into a colander. And we're gonna let our potatoes sit here just for a couple minutes, that way they can slightly cool off. Once the potatoes have slightly cooled off, I'm gonna transfer them into a large bowl. Then we'll add in our garlic paste over the potatoes. And using a masher, start mashing down on the potatoes until you end up with a smooth texture with no lumps in it. And it's very important that you don't overwork those potatoes, otherwise you're gonna end up with gluey mashed potatoes. 
Then I'm going to add in half a cup of plain Greek yogurt at room temperature, which is 125 grams. Very important for the Greek yogurt to be at room temperature, otherwise it can easily curdle. And we'll season everything with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this one final mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together and we end up with a beautiful creamy mashed potato. And once again, you don't want to overmix this, otherwise you're going to end up with gluey mashed potatoes. Then we'll transfer our mashed potatoes into a serving dish. Drizzle some of the reserved olive oil that we cook the garlic in over the mashed potatoes. And we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped chives. Check it out, our Mediterranean style creamy garlic mashed potatoes are done. Easy to make, made with the simplest ingredients and these mashed potatoes have the most incredible creamy texture to them. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Like I always tell you, this is what great food is all about. Grabbing simple ingredients and creating a dish that's this beautiful. Here we go. Absolutely delicious. I mean, they're mashed potatoes and they have that beautiful creamy texture to them. But the beauty of this recipe is that we use Greek yogurt instead of heavy cream or milk, really making it so much healthier. And then all that garlic, we're talking a head of garlic, an explosion of so much goodness. You saw this easy to make, very simple ingredients. Make these mashed potatoes during this holiday season or even for the rest of the year because they are so good, you're gonna absolutely love them. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Maybeth Robles, William Judd, Manuel J. Rosales, Edward J. Harrison, and David Houston. Gang guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support the show, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.